You're watching KJLA. LA TV. Do you have a gun? I know, it's Supreme. Hi, Christy. Chaos. How you doing? Good. What are you, what are you doing here? Um, I just came by to see how you're doing. I, I see I see what happened to you. I brought this for you. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I just, you know, I just came by to see how you're doing. If, if, you, if you ever need anything, you know, just, just call me. I'll be there. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye. Do you know why Supreme's not here? He was supposed to be here. Um, I, I, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened to the big guy. I guess the Messiah and Rob Black, did, I guess they just got to him. Take care, Christy. Thank you. Bye. I'll call you later. I had to do a lot of soul searching. What I'm about to ask you is the biggest thing in my life. Christy, will you marry me? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, Supreme. Oh, oh, Supreme. I thought you'd never ask me. Oh. So, yeah, yeah? Yes, yes. Oh, gosh, oh. Um. You know Kid Chaos? Yeah. Um, yesterday, when I thought you were going to be here, he came over to see how I was doing. Mm -hmm. And he brought me a rose, and he was just checking on me. Mother f***ing son of a Sucking piece of s***! Mother f***ing son of a...
This is kind of like the State of the Union address, you know, President of the United States, but I'm Rob Black, President of XPW. A couple things have uh, transpired in the last couple of days I'd like to share with all of you. About six months ago, my, uh, say, best friend, former best friend, Lazy, informed me that he was going to take control over XPW. He's going to take control over my company which I started with these New York investors. Well, you know what? Showed the contracts, went over the contracts, and I guess uh, it was kind of right, but there was many stipulations in the contracts. One, lazy controlled venues, and he controlled the television markets that we went into. I controlled the television product, what went on TV. That's what uh, Rob Black TV was all about. I loved it, I, I think you all loved it too, but that, whatever, we're going off on a tangent. Well, you see, we had a deal. Every month, he was to pay me my monthly check for part of that company. If any of these payments were missed, whatsoever, the company reverted back to me. I owned total control, and he was nothing more than just some, some fleeb trolling around on the streets. Well, you know what? Recently, uh, I say for the last month, he's been gallivanting over in Japan, Canada, wherever with that, that scarred freak Sabu and my world title. And guess what? They missed payments. Guess what? We have no venue. We've been thrown out of our venue. No show. And guess what? Contract has been violated. Complete control reverts back to me, Rob Black. Me. Back to me. All mine. All mine. So what we have now is um, a bit of a problem. You see, that's because my world title is still around the waist of Sabu. So Lazy, you are no longer an owner. You are no longer part owner. You are a manager. You are nothing more than a whistleblowing wannabe. And I will get my title back. And now to rectify the situation of venues, what I 
am doing, what me, Rob Black, is doing. I would say around the end of October, that's about when the completion will be done, we are constructing the XPW Arena, a facility that will hold 2,000 people that will be solely for XPW events. And we will run shows every other week. It will be the Rob Black War Memorial. Maybe I'll have a, a picture of me with my, my, my robe and... Uh, my robe. I'll be up there with my eight ball. You know, thing. It'll be great. So guess what? You fans are going to be in for a real treat. Because I got complete control again. Gonna have a new arena, and you're gonna see more of Rob Black TV. But the one thing that Lazy did, okay, that son of a bitch. See, just like a, a a a president when they're going out, you know, and they and they and they pass those final shitty bills, you know, that raises taxes on everybody and and whatever else they do, you know, uh, soup kitchens, uh, welfare, whatever, whatever they do that that annoys us. Well, you know what, Lazy stamped his his filthy, dirty, slimy paws on one thing. I come in and I find out that we're booked to do the Metal Fest. The Metal Fest in, in uh, was it, November 10th? The Metal Fest. I never agreed to that, but Lazy agreed to it. Lazy signed, where is it? Lazy signed, Lazy signed the contracts. It's nothing I could do, because he was part owner then. So now we got to do this metal fest. Metal fe well, I got to go hang out in San Bernardino. I got to hang out with all these scumbags, with these long hair wearing, slam dancing, wannabe. That, that was out in the 80s. What do I got to listen to? Uh, Venom, um, um, Metal Church, some other scumbags. So now I gotta go to San Diner, Pedro, whatever the hell that f***ing hellhole is. But I guess we're gonna have to come November 10th to the Metal Fest, and I will wreak havoc because I will take back my title and put it where it belongs, and that is here in the XPW office, that is here in, in October in the Rob Black War Memorial facility. Because it's back, it's me, it's all mine. Thank you. Farewell. Love, prayers, and all that good stuff that a president will wish. And I'll get you, I'll get my belt. Thank you. Good night. Can you believe it? Finally. Finally, it has happened. Rover Black. He's back in power. Can you believe it? What do you have to say for yourself, man? It has happened. Something you will believe that never will happen is reality. Wait, 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 pipe down. Just pipe down a second. Listen, you can say whatever you want to say about Lazy and Rob, Rob Black. Man, there's one thing Rob Black cannot do, and that's get the XPW World Heavyweight title, the gold, here in XPW. You know why? because it belongs to Sabu, and there's nothing he can do about it, Rivera. You know it. Just give us time. Give it time. Before you know it, the title will be in the hand of Robert oh, Black. No. Give it time, Chico. And you're speaking about this guy, Lazy, Lousy, whatever he Lazy. Is. Lazy, that's man. Lazy, Lazy Bone, Chico. He Lazy. can't get oh. a venue. Can't get a venue to save the life. That's why the company is almost falling apart, Chico. No chose. No fan complaining about no job, that's because there's no arena, no venue. Lazy, responsible for that, but you know what? Robert Black has the grand plan. The Donald Trump of the porno business is getting ready to build a new XPW facility, a new arena. That's true, that's all. The new yeah. Trump Tower of professional wrestling right here in Southern California, the new mecca of the XPW Chico. And can you believe you see Lacey doing anything like that? Hey. No way. No way. And you know what he's doing, man? As the extra little damage. The damage 
as he's leaving, as he's going out the door. He's booking XPW on some kind of metal, yeah. heavy metal. Yeah, in San Bernardino, November. Grenudo, Grenudo long hair, the, the, the mohawk. Mo, like a rooster. You were doing. They don't take a shower. The, Wait a minute. The music, he clap. Wait a minute. They're this dancing is... like this. What are you doing? No, they, they, Wait they a minute. Don't know hey, how... you big clumsy goof, you're going to fall Wait, over and chicken. ruin this set. I don't have to dance. Wait a minute, you're talking you say, about... I not, brother. Dancing. November 10th, San Bernardino. Tickets available at Ticketmaster, by the way. You're, you're not going to be there. Come on. I, you're not going to see me. Larry Rivera not going to no metal. Where are you going to be? At the taco stand on the corner? Club Los Globos on Sunset Boulevard, Chico. Make sure you go. Anyway, I want to say tonight, welcome to another edition of XPW TV. I am Larry Rivera, the host, the real host. And you can forget about being the host for the future because Robert Black is back in the power. Tonight, we have all kind of action for you, drama, violent crap, merchandise, for nagas, everything. Make sure that stick, don't change the channel. Right here, XPW TV. Where is he? It's too late. Where is he at? Oh, God. Where did he go? This took too long. Time, oh, my God, what time is it? If it doesn't get here soon, the sun's gonna come up. Oh, I can't stay up no more. I'm too tired for this. I can't wait anymore. would I be, but in front of the Hustler store in beautiful Hollywood, California. It's pretty nice here, and I'm starting to enjoy myself just a little bit. You know, I am from Silicon Valley, and as a matter of fact, I'm thinking about moving here. Calm down, calm down, I know, it hasn't happened yet, but it will, maybe, if the price is right. Silicon Valley is nice and all, but it's just getting old, it's getting weak. It's computers and geeks and nerds with the little weak old BMWs and our little wussy lives working nine to five. I belong in a town, Hollywood, California. Let's face it, everybody needs a gigolo in their town, and I am the original gigolo. Because all of you people look up to me, you look at my beautiful clothes, my beautiful hair, everything's custom. But there's only one gigolo. Hey, uh, we need this light on, man. What's what's up with that? Yeah, man, these uh, these things always look better in the light. You can't see it in the dark. Yeah, you sure like to play with that thing a lot. What? You want to handle it? Nah, I, I don't. I don't want to mess with it. Uh, uh, you know, I, I might, I might, I might damage it or something. Uh, it's delicate, but uh, it's a whole lot of fun to play with. Uh, no, I, I don't think I, I think I want to bother with that at all. You just uh, go on ahead with what you're doing there. Uh, it's just a bad habit. I mean, you just can't squeeze it too hard. You don't want it to break. You know, it's the kind of things you can keep for life. That thing? Nah, that thing's as hard as a rock, man. You won't break that. So you don't want to touch it. No, no, man, I don't want to, I don't want to touch that. Guys handle these things all the time, man. Yeah, well, I don't. Last time I handled stuff like that, you know, it was money involved, you know? Yeah, this... Hey, uh, what's up with the red thing on there, anyway? This is, this is, this whole conversation is getting weird, man. 
look. It's just a camera, man. It's just a camera. What are you worrying about? Wrestling fans, this is it. XPW's Asylum. You want to be a pro wrestler? You want to train with the best? XPW offers you a complete training course in professional wrestling. Right here, the Asylum. Learn the insides, the outsides of the ring with the top XPW stars. For more information, call 818-779-6479. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the XPW website at XPWrestling.com. You can check out the latest news, live events, the photo gallery, event results, multimedia, and of course the ever so popular XPW message board where your opinions can be heard on wrestling and XPW TV. Don't forget to log on to XPWrestling.com. Okay, folks, XPW merchandise, XPW t-shirts now available for all you people. Look at this. Look at this, the official XPW logo t-shirt. This ain't your daddy's wrestling. Hot item. Hot item indeed. Lizzie Borden, don't cross the bus. Yeah, lousy b Okay, look at this. White trash, Johnny Webb. Fried chicken and ass kicking. He's going to give you the old welfare check. Another hot item right there. Oh, Look at this, the very mysterious tool. And of course, our huge event, Go Funk Yourself with Sabu and Terry Funk. That shirt now available, the entire card. Homeless Jimmy, Hungry Homeless and Hardcore. Rivera, that stupid idiot. Wipe my ass with this thing. Klaus, what, Klaus, what, are, you, what are you doing? The, uh, this shirt should not be in publication. This shirt should not be anywhere. Oh, it's cut. Oh, you were, damn it. One more time. Uncle Polly, I, wait, I, no. Uncle Polly, I understand. Right. Un Uncle Polly, no, no. It, we'll, we'll take care of it this time, Uncle Polly, not a problem. Right, I understand, Uncle Polly. Look, look, we'll take care. We'll take care of it, Uncle Polly, I understand. This time it's about respect. All right. All right. Man, Uncle Polly sounded pissed. He was pissed. Man, let's go. Let's go teach somebody some respect.
Want to see me, boss? Oh, can I, Rob? Sit, please. Thank you. I got something for you. For me? For you. For all the hard work you've done the last couple months, it's a special present. Very special. Because as you know, I'm back in total control. That lazy guy, <laughs> gone. Gone. I know you were working with him a little here and there, but I understand you had to do what you got to do, okay? And I'm going to forget that. He's gone. I'm in complete control. Beautiful. And I got a present for you. Have I said about the present? Yeah. Okay. Listen. Because you are now president. Me. You. As you. You're like my Joe Lieberman. Vice president. It's for you. Take it. There are no expense in the wrapping. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Now you go. Open it here? No! Go out there and open it. I got things to do over here. Please. Right. I got like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I got things. Thanks. All right, go. Try to take it back, you little prick. Hey, Chris Cross, let me tell you something, man. I personally and getting disgusted in the direction of this TV show, Chico. The wrestling is being less and less. Gordon Sully, that's you saw, Chico, is looking down from the 730, spinning in the grave because there's no wrestling on this TV show. But this might change, brody. Robert Black is back in complete control. What do you hey, say? Hey, what do I say? I say Robert Black does not have the belt. He doesn't have the belt, but that is the lead. Worries, man. You see these guys that are coming after him, these Italian guys. Oh, wait. Uncle oh, no Pauly. racial slurs. Uncle Polly. Como se llama? He's crazy. Hey, what about his great hope, the Messiah, being sidetracked by Supreme? Supreme has more to worry about with Kid Chaos and Christy Mead. You see that? They're getting together. I saw that. Very strange relationship. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold the phone and stop the horses. Speaking of strange relationships, what about what about this whole thing with white trash Johnny Webb and Jessica, uh, this man and tool and Jessica getting involved in those very seedy pornographic. Uh, That's scenes. another thing. Porno. Everybody wants to make the all over porno, porno. This guy's sono now wants to start making the porno as the gigolo. Can you believe that? Hey, well, he, you know, we even saw a few weeks ago, right here on XPW TV, Macho Man Randy Savage coming up to bat for Mr. 80's Dynamite D, demanding more TV time for D. I mean, he does deserve that, more TV you time. You know, Chico, let me ask you something, man. What is this? Is this genital hospital? Ask the world turn? You know what? Look that. Joy Hackenschmidt, Frank Gotch, they are going crazy in the cemetery, man. They can't believe it. This is no wrestling. This is some kind of soap, you soap know, opera. Hey, you know what this is? This is XPW. It's like, I, it was my last $5, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? I hear you, man. What am I going to do? I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, man. Again with the light? Uh, what, what's up with that, man? I told you, man. It works better with the light on. Yeah, yeah, you and you and your camera. I tell you, you just you just like my old lady, you know, is burning the light bill up all the time, you know. Turn the light off. She's got you that. whipped, huh? Light on all the time. I stand it, but man, I know what you're talking about. Well, you know, she's it's not all bad, you know. Bill and everything like that, but uh, you know, she keeps the keeps the trailer clean and does, does the floors, my laundry don't she? and yeah, cleans the floors real nice. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, man. My old lady, she used to do the same thing. Laundry on time, stacked, floors clean. I hear you, man. Yeah, she's she's okay in that department, and you know the other things, you know the the little things, you know. Little she, things like what? You know, uh, lady things, you know. Man, that taking ain't, care of business in the family. Man, that ain't little. And whatnot, you know. She does this thing, you know. Oh, she. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we're real. Yeah. My old lady, she do the same thing, man. That's so weird. Really? Yeah. You, really now? No, you serious? She does that? Yeah, no, no, seriously, she oh, does that. That's yours too. That's such a coinky. Really? Thing, I, thought, man, I because... thought I got hooked up with some kind of freak or something like that. Oh, she's a. Oh, yeah, my old lady's a freak. Take it, to man. Me. I, it... 
Have you ever seen one? Guys, man, we are lucky guys. I, I guess so. Wow, small world. What? what do you know? Yeah. My old lady, your old lady. You got a lot in common, like us, Mr. Webb. Yeah, you're practically the same person. This is, uh... This is all right, man. We've been driving around for a while, but... Yeah, it has been like a while, you know, and I do need to get back, you know. Oh, we're gonna get back. Because I am whipped, you know. Like I said, we'll get back. You don't worry about that. All right, then. I'm gonna kill this light again, yeah, if really, you don't mind. I don't really do. Time, but guess what? Where are you going? Going. I guess you don't want to play. Nobody wants to play today. Action. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The asylum. The great wrestling training school of XPW. Learn the insides, the outsides of the ring, right here at the Asylum. 818-779-6479. Learn from the biggest stars of XPW right here at the Asylum. Ah, uh, you gotta do it again. What the hell? XPWrestling.com has got so much to offer. You can get tremendous merchandise from XPWrestling.com. You got so much to choose from on the column here. Let's scroll down a little bit. XPW bios. Check that out. Click on your favorite XPW wrestlers and television personalities. <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's so easy. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm showing them about the website. Cut. XPW home video available as well. The revolution will be televised. Experience the birth of XPW TV, one of our hottest tapes to date. Baptized in blood, the entire XPW King of the Death Match Tournament. Chris Candido wins the XPW World Heavyweight title and the shocking debut from the franchise Shane Douglas. What about this one? Check out. How it all started for us here at XPW, our debut video, Hardcore Conception. And of course, we got this, Lizzie Borden. We all know she's the boss's wife, the looks that kill. And whoa, hey, hey, pure beauty. I'm talking about none other than, uh, than Christy Mist, what I would do to get, if she, if I can, do, oh my gosh. Chris. Look at the lingerie when she's wearing Chris. the bra. What? I'm just talking focused. about... Hey. I'm focused. Selling. I'm selling. Gigolo here again on Sunset Strip. They should probably rename it Gigolo Strip, but that's another whole other story. I'm here with my friend... Uh, 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 Floor... Amy, Amy. I'm here with Amy. And uh, we are going to tear up the strip like it should be. Isn't that right, sweetie? That's right. We're probably going to go into this little whiskey place here. I hear it's got a little bit of musical history, a little bit of party on has gone on in there. But oh, I don't man, think it's... Oh, man, still rolled up all those here. I'm having a great time. Hello? Hey, I know you. See, I'm filming here. Steve Rosano. Yes, I am. I'm uh, Mr. Hold a. on. I wasn't finished. I am Steve Rosano, but I'm the Gigolo. The Gigolo? Oh, I, Gigolo. I uh, know you. You're you're 80s 80s kid. Kid Dynamite. Dynamite D. That's it. Did it right. 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 Okay. Hey, listen. Well, I'm filming here. You're on TV? XPW TV? It's XPW Oh, hey, so Dynamite I'm D, Mr. 80s. Macho's favorite wrestler. Excuse me. Oh, hey, baby. You want to have nothing but a good time? <laughs>
because, you know what, man? I'm feeling good right now, very, very good, because Robert Black is putting me in complete control of the TV show. I'm the host. Huge mistake. Forget about being the host for any time soon. But I'm going to make you happy right now. I got a little present for you. You're going to eat. My friend. That's my right. Friend? My You're friend? A present That's to me right. from you? You got you it, You still man. owe me 15 bucks for the football game. That's, forget about that. That's last week. We got a special video tonight of a homeless Jimmy match. You're, You're going to believe it? Finally. That's right. Finally. You like, you You're know, coming to your senses. You always championing the, the little guys. The, the, the underdog. The underdog. That's right. So we got a match right now of homeless Jimmy doing what he does best. Getting his butt kicked what? from one arena to the other arena. What are you talking about? The king of the death match match. As he met faces Axel Rotten and get his butt kicked. You're going to show that match? We're going to show that. presentation of Jimmy and you're going to show from King of the Deathmatch past February, from the video Baptized in That's Blood? That's right. Baptized in oh. Blood. Let's go to the match right now. Just just when I think you have an ounce of decency, you, you go off the no me. bed. Here he comes, fans, to the Hollywood Palace. It's none other than homeless Jimmy. He walks the streets at night with his chopping cart, looking for weapons to use in the match. Look at him there. He's got cheap metal. He's got a chair. He's got all kind of stuff that he can use in the match. And you know what? He has never won a match here in SPW, and he absolutely does not care. All he cares about is inflicting the pain, inflicting punishment on all his opponents that he runs across here in the XPW. So let's get ready for this final first round match of the XPW King of the Death Match Tournament. A man who almost needs no introduction. His name is Axel Rotten. He is a legend in the hardcore wrestling industry. He is known around the world as a man who can take the most brutal of brutal punishment. And you can see in his hands the weapons he has ready for this match. Wood, axe handles, wrap in barbed wire. And at the present moment, at the present time, he's going ringside to the fans, showing the fans that this is the real stuff, man. He didn't go down to a toy shop on Hollywood Boulevard to get fake barbed wire, plastic barbed wire, like we see in other federations. This is the real thing, man. It is metal, sharp, barbed wire, capable of cutting a skin in an instant. Axel Rotten, man. He is a one-of-a-kind guy. He is here in XPW to show Homeless Jimmy what it's like to be hardcore. What it's like to get extreme. And at the time, we're going to fist close for the ring announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my right, he is simply from the streets. He is Jimmy! And his opponent to my left, from Baltimore, Maryland, Axel Rotten! There's the bell, marking the beginning of this final round one match of the XPW Deathmatch Tournament. Homeless Jimmy catching Axel by surprise in the corner with a right hand. And not so fast, says Axel. I got something for you. Here comes Chris Claus, back on my side. Woo. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, back once again. The fourth and final first round match here in the King of the Deathmatch Tournament. It's Axel Rotten. He's got that axe handle with barbed wire. 
and he just raked it across the face of Jimmy. The blood is flowing everywhere in this tournament. Oh, look at that, to the back now. That barbed wire nailed on the back of Jimmy. Jimmy, as we know, he roams the streets of Hollywood at night looking for the weapons that he's gonna use, but at the present time, the barbed wire is getting all over his forehead. And look at this now, Axel Rotten just taking it to Jimmy. But one of these guys gonna advance along with Supreme, the Messiah. And don't forget John Cronus, man, who took Carlito Montana to the top and back in the last match. He certainly did, Larry Rivera. But right now, the bed of nails set up. On the, oh, look at that, Jimmy! Right into, into the, the far side! Axel swinging with that might behind him. And Jimmy, homeless Jimmy, into that bed of nails! A wrestling fan, in this match, we have the bar wire axe handle. We got a bed of nails. And last but not least, glass. And one more time now. Oh, Jimmy in again. The glass. This is the most dangerous object in this King of the Deathmatch tournament. And wait a minute now. Jimmy going to his shopping cart. He's got a chair, looks like. But wait a minute. Axel beats him to the punch. Axel right now going. Oh, that sheet metal to the head. It's got the cheap metal, man. Would you watch your mouth, Larry? The cheap metal. What are you talking about? Sheet. Say it right. For cheap metal. I'm saying it. That's it. That's Axel right. Ron. Wait a minute. He's going for the shopping cart. He's got a chain now. He's got that bicycle chain. Look at it. Wrapped it. Oh. The chain. Homeless Jimmy's got the chain that he spent all night looking for last night over there on our guy allowing you, man. And look at this now, continuing to wail away on the head of Axel Rotten. Wait a minute, he's got that, he's got that axe handle, he's got Axel's own axe handle. Oh, wait a minute, this, once again, Axel beating him to the punch. And look at the crimson mask on the face of Jimmy. This guy, homeless Jimmy, first he got the cheat, then he got the chain. What's going to be next, man? What the hell are you talking about, Larry? Oh, never mind. Look at this now, Axel Rotten on the security railing in front of the sea of fans here at the Palace. And those fans are coming dangerously close to the bar wire. Whoa! And look at that now. That cookie sheet to the head of Axel Rotten. Fish now to the head of Rotten. And Rotten still holding on to that. Does he still have that? We've been Irish. Oh, well, reversal into the shopping cart. Oh and the security God. railing goes Jimmy. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. And listen to these fans here in Hollywood, California. He's got the sheet metal again. You just say it right this time, Larry. That's right, or that's don't right. call it at all. That's right. To the head. Axel Rotten. Ouch, man. That, look at the indentation of the head on the sheet metal. Right there. Stop it. There, look it. There, it is. there it is again. Look at that, man. The sheet metal. And wait a minute. Jimmy's got one of his own. And look at this. Swinging away at one another. The first man to go down, however, is Jimmy. And now it looks like he's throwing it back into the ring. Sometimes I wonder what this head on the shoulder of homeless Jimmy is made of. Sometimes I think it's pure cement, pure concrete. And they, they're making their way to the stage now of the Hollywood Palace. And look at this now, that pane of glass sitting there. Oh my gosh, wait a Axel Rod's got a chair. What, what, no, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, it's time wait. It's time wait. He's dead. He's counting. One, two, three. It's over, man. So this guy is dead. The glass has been utilized by Axel Rotten. Last match we saw the light bulbs. Now we see the glass. There is nobody. I tell you, no one is going to get up from getting the slang in the glass like that. Incredible. Incredible. The blood coming down the face all over of the homeless Jimmy. It appears that he's unconscious, he's not moving. XPW officials gathering around showing a lot of concern. They're all quiet. They're being very careful. They don't want to pick him up. They don't want to move him. His neck may be broken. The referee, all the officials, I believe they have made a call for an ambulance for paramedics to come out to the assistance of homeless Jimmy. They have been very delicate, very gentle in picking him up. 
This process is very delicate. As you can see, the paramedics making his way to the scene to treat Jimmy. He's got his back with all the doctor first aid material. The face of homeless Jimmy, of course, is going to require stitches. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. Jimmy's up. He's up. He's crazy, this guy. Está loco, este tipo. He's crazy. He, went. he still wants to fight. He wants to fight the referee. He wants to fight the SPW officials. He's crazy. He doesn't know where he's at. here the asylum xpw's premier training school where the wrestling in the asylum is better than the asylum commercials if you want to get your fat ass off the couch put down the cheetos put down the sipping on the old budweiser put down the oreo cake and come on down to the asylum you learn from the best you learn headlocks sleeper holds everything 818-779-6479 come on down to the asylum i can't believe i'm doing this crap one more time Chris. unbelievable you got a computer at home, pal? Well, then log on! You know, AOL, Yahoo, all that mumbo-jumbo, www.xpwrestling.com, the World Wide Web. You can find out all the latest news, the big news about the new Rob Black XPW Arena. Log on to the damn website! Damn it! I've had enough of this garbage! Stupid website commercials! Lord Alfred Hayes, your... Lord Alfred Hayes? You want merchandise? You want t-shirts? You want you want baseball caps? You want videotapes? Okay, here you go. Revolution will be televised. Baptized in blood. Hardcore conception. Lizzie Borden. Cr Christy missed. Put it down nice. T-shirts. T-shirts of the XPW tool. White trash Johnny Webb. The go funk yourself. Homeless Jimmy. Man, this is, this is crap! Why do I have to do this stupid merchandise commercial? I mean, I'm, I'm hawking Rivera shirts. The guy comes over here on a mule, and I gotta hawk this crap. Man, I'm probably the only wrestling announcer. There's no other wrestling announcers have to put up with this. I realize Rob Black's back in power, but this is absurd. I've had it. It's stupid. I'm doing the damn asylum crap. I'm doing the website. What? You're not hawking commemorative coins. All right, let's try this again. What? What? Change. I, listen, so I don't have any change. All I have is some paperwork. Listen, you know what? I'm playing a little charitable tonight. There's enough to go around if the gigolo's got money, okay? There's enough to go around. So here you go. Oh, sh oh, well, hey. No, no, just a couple. Just a... Whoa, hey, easy now. Oh, That was a big watch, too, man. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, just a couple. Just a couple. Hey, I need that back. I need that back. Hey, go. Hey, hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us here on XPW-TV. And remember, November 10th, 
San Bernardino, California, at the San Bernardino National Orange Show at Metal Fest. XPW will be there as well with a huge night no, man. of professional no, wrestling. No, no. And I know you're not no, going to be no, there. No, no. Thank why, you, God. Why'd you bring this up again? Why'd you bring this up bring it again? November 10th. This is crazy. Why are we getting involved with this? This San Bernardino. This lazy. lazy leaving the fingerprint all over the place. I will not be there. Do you know why? It's violent crap, man. For the eyes, audio crap for the ears. Man. You don't smell it dude all over the place. I'm not going to be there, man. But I want to remind the fan to stay tuned right here to SPW TV, to XPWrestling.com for more information on the upcoming grand opening, the debut of the XPW Arena, the XPW Sport Arena, where you're going to see show after show after show of XPW action. So once again, I am the host, Larry Rivera, for Chris Cross over here saying goodbye, adios, and stay tuned next week for another edition of XPW TV. Are you done? Se acabó. Mother Oh, oh, wait, wait. Wait, for what? Wait. What the f are you doing with her? Wait, wait. Oh. What are you doing with her? Oh. Huh? What the f oh. are you thinking? What the f are you thinking, huh? What oh. the f are you thinking? Oh. Huh? Who the f do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Fucking bastard. Oh. The f do you think oh. you are? Wait. What do you think you are? You my girl? you being a tourist and all, you know, I mean, do you know your way around here? We've been driving around forever, man. I mean, what's going on, really, seriously? This is personal. Well, what's personal? What are you talking about? Man, that was my street back there. Now, come on, what's going on here? That's what's going on, brother. Johnny Webb now. Look at Johnny Webb now. This is superstar. You're gonna put your hands on my wife? You're gonna put your hands on my property? You wanna go around to bookstores? You're gonna mess with degenerate? Those are my people. Now you know what pain is. I'm only the messenger. I hope you know how to stop them. Johnny Webb, what's wrong? Not looking too good, Mr. Webb. Just think. Video uh, Mr. Black show that, that ain't nothing. I've done things with Jessica that every man in this world seen. Anywhere you touch on Jessica, I've been there already. That's my property. Nothing you do is new, but everything you do is personal. Now, understand this. Your demise will be televised, son. 
You think it ends here? It's only the gun, Webb. Now we're going to your trailer, you dirt bag. Look at me. Next time you go home, your wife won't be the same. Your life won't be the same. And the last thing you need to know, it doesn't end here. See you at home, Johnny. You piece of trash. Look at him on the streets, right where he belongs. See you at home, Johnny. See, kids? I told you it's fun to play with Pogo. Why don't you ask your parents right now to come and play with me? I'm really a fun guy. I'm not a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. respect. Yeah, I should cry like a little. That's it. Yeah.